Here is another important definition. A prime implicant is an implicant that is not covered by any other implicant. We can say that it is a cube that is as large as possible. If a cover consists of only prime implicant, then it is a prime cover. And an essential prime implicant will cover a min term or a vertex in our n-dimensional Boolean space that is not covered by any other prime implicant. And from this it is clear that the prime cover must contain all the essential primes that we have. If we just take the example that we had before with three variables, x1, x2, and x3, enumerating the inputs like this, and then we call the output f, and then we had the function that was 1, 1, 0, 0, don't care, 1, 0, 1. This function we wrote in two different ways. We could write it in even more ways, of course, but we wrote it in two different ways. And if we just disregard from writing the cube functions explicitly, we wrote them as x1 prime, x2 prime, or x1, x3. And we also wrote this function as x2 prime or x1, x2 x3. Even though both of these are minimal covers, they are not prime covers because x1 prime, x2 prime is not a prime implicant and x1, x2, x3 are not prime implicant. However, x2 prime is a prime implicant and x1, x3 is also a prime implicant. So both of these functions will consist of one prime implicant and one implicant that is not a prime. And also, it will be shown that both these prime implicants are also essential primes. I understand if it is not clear at this point how we know all these things, but this will be clear very soon. A minimal cover of the incompletely specified function f, and this is a function that also includes the don't care set, this minimal cover can be obtained by a minimal cover of the onset of f together with prime implicants of the union of the onset and the don't care set. Our ultimate goal is going to be to find both a cover that is minimal and prime. So we want to find a cover that at the same time is a minimal cover and a prime cover. And a minimal cover doesn't have to be a prime cover and a prime cover doesn't have to be a minimal cover. So what we're going to do in order to find our prime and minimal cover is to first find all the prime implicants of the union of the onset and the don't care set and then we're going to use these prime implicants to find a minimal cover of the onset. So then we will find a cover that is both minimal and prime at the same time, which is our ultimate goal.